up guys it is riley here with hots and motors we are out here in beautiful calico basin this is a little ranching community right outside of las vegas up here in the red rock national park area it's beautiful we brought our first gen cummins up here right up against the rocks it's a great sight to see this is our next and current giveaway truck if you don't know who we are here at hots and motors we build cool old classic trucks and we give them away to one of you if you go on our website everything that we sell gets you entries in to win a truck and this is our current giveaway truck so if you're seeing this video between April 18th and May 15th, this truck is our current giveaway truck. If you're seeing this video after those dates, we're probably giving away something else that's just as cool. So check us out there if you wanna know more about the giveaways and whatnot. But today we wanna to do a good in-depth walk around of our first gen crew cab, tell you all, everything about it, what's great and what's not about it, and, and just give you all the good rundown. So uh, let's hop right into it. Let's talk about first gens. First gen is a term that is commonly used to describe uh, first gen Dodge Rams. Sometimes it gets used to describe all Dodge Rams from you know the 80s up into the early 90s, but really it's a term used to describe first gen Cummins, which is the first uh, you know civilian pickup to ever use a Cummins as the power plant. So this truck has a 12 valve and is really the unicorn of all old classic diesels because this truck never existed, but it definitely should have existed. Dodge manufactured crew cabs up until 1985. And then they didn't introduce the Cummins powered pickup until 1989. So this truck never would have existed. However, all the parts work together to where you could make a first gen crew cab and it all fits like it definitely should. Now this truck wouldn't have had this front end. This front fascia is the 91 to 93 front clip. This truck would have had a different front fascia, but it has been all converted to look like as if it was a 1993 Dodge W250, but would be a crew cab, which they never made. So it's a very cool truck, very rare. And I would consider it the holy grail of classic diesels because who doesn't want four wheel drive? Who doesn't want a diesel? Who doesn't want a manual transmission? And who doesn't want four doors? Just so nice to have a crew cab. The truck is awesome. An absolute unicorn of a pickup. It is definitely the nicest truck we have ever given away. It is the coolest, nicest, biggest, baddest truck we've given away yet. So we're very excited about this giveaway. Let's talk about the body and everything. Very straight, very nice body. We did not paint this truck. I bought this truck already painted. When we bought it, it was really beat up. The, the previous owner had worked it and taken it hunting and stuff like that. And so when we got it, the paint job, we couldn't really tell what it was. It was just kind of like baby poop green. After we polished it, uh, we did a color sand and a compound and a polish. And all of a sudden we realized, holy crap, there's metal flake in this. And it's actually metallic. So the paint job is really cool. This metallic armor green on top with bed liner done along the bottom. It's a great look. The truck is a long bed, which to some people might be a great thing and other people's not. You know, I might prefer a short bed just to make it a little easier in parking lots, but for a work truck or to go out and, and haul stuff and and pull a boat and pull a trailer and stuff like that. I know a long bit is king. So very cool truck, very clean body and a very, very, very nice conversion to a crew cab. All right, let's, uh, let's walk down the side here. We'll show you some more of the cool features. I'm gonna walk backwards. Hopefully I don't fall over. So coming down the side, you see more of our black trim. We did the mirrors, the door handles and everything like that. Uh, if we squat down here, Take a look at the wheels and tires. This truck has a four inch lift kit so we can clear 35 inch tires. So these are 35 inch Patagonia XTs. Great tire for on-road and off 17 inch American racing wheels. So very nice setup, satin black wheels to match all the rest of the satin black trim. The truck we bought it had, it didn't have emblems on it. So we had to do some hunting on eBay and found some original Power Ram 250 Cummins turbo diesel emblems. These must be the most expensive pieces of plastic ever produced because th these were these were like, these were one of the most expensive things I had to buy for this truck. They're crazy pricey, but you have to have them. They're good emblem. They're very iconic. Coming down, we have our four doors. These crew cabs are a little goofy. You get this weird B-pillar gap in the middle, and then you have like your two vent windows, but your rear vent window doesn't open. One of the bad parts about building a crew cab, especially a very, like a, a crew cab like this, that there's no parts for the rear doors, is stuff like glass. This rear glass has some pitting in it from a previous owner sandblasting it. There is no recourse. There is, nobody makes glass for it and the glass is curved. So it's like, I, I can't go get glass cut for it. So I've been hunting. At the time of this video, I have yet to find some good replacement glass, some used but good quality replacement glass, but I'm gonna continue hunting. Hopefully before we give this truck away, we've replaced the rear glass with something that's not pitted. As we keep walking down the side here, we have a transfer flow toolbox and fuel tank in the bed. I think the tank is 60 gallons at least and it is a transfer tank into the main tank. So if you wanna drive this thing cross country, fill it up one time and just freaking and cruise. Uh, because it is a VE pump Cummins and not a P pump Cummins, these get phenomenal fuel mileage, like 30 miles a gallon on the freeway. So you could freaking cruise this thing with 100 gallons in it across the nation. It's pretty cool. And with today's gas prices just being crazy, you know, just to really spruce up the giveaway, we're gonna give it away with at least a half a tank of fuel. 
Uh, you know, Kelly Blue Book changes the value of your vehicle if it's got a full tank or an empty tank right now. So we'll give it to you guys at least halfway full. We'll come around to the backside here. One of my favorite parts on this truck is the tailgate. So let's take a look at that. This tailgate is the 80s tailgate with the Dodge Ram embossed on it. And it is very, very, very cool. Let me get out of the shot so you can see it without my shadow. But the Dodge Ram tailgate is just freaking rad. You got the really cool tail lights as well. We painted those up as well. And then another steel bumper in the rear, a little bit of diamond plate, but a nice heavy duty bumper to protect your very valuable crew cab if, uh, if anything were ever to happen, but these bumpers are freaking stout. I don't think you're gonna ever, ever have an issue. In the bed, it's just a bed lined steel bed, and then we have a full-size spare tire with a Fabtech spare tire mount back there. That could come out if you guys wanted to do a fifth wheel plate or something like that, but it's nice to have a full-size spare, so that's in the bed as well. Let's go jump in the interior and show you guys about that. All right, so back here in the back seat, it's a big enough back seat for adults. It's not huge, but uh, you could definitely cruise cross country with this thing and with, with some adults. The interior of this truck is in phenomenal condition. It doesn't have all the original panels up an upholstery shop made, kind of the B pillar and C pillar trims and stuff like that, but the headliner's great, no sagging. The bench seat were restored this is a, a complete bench seat and then the front bench seat is a split seat with a jumper in the middle but it was restored with like some very factory 90s era correct cloth and vinyl combination you know it's that that like kind of square printed cloth with like little teal and yellow stripes hidden down in there very 1990s but it looks great and it feels great another great thing about this truck is that we have everything that the rear needs like we have rear seat belts we have rear door panels it's got the rear arm pads. Nothing's broken in the rear because if anything breaks in these crew cabs because there is no aftermarket support, you're screwed. If we were missing an arm pad, we'd be having one made by the upholstery shop. So the rear doors are complete. They have the handles, the door panels, everything like that. So that's a really, really, really big plus back here. Top to the front seat. Okay, up front here you have a one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest first gen interiors I've ever sat in. Uh, like we said, it's a it's a split bench seat. So you can you can have seating for six, but you know, you keep it down, you have a nice armrest. Steering wheel's in perfect shape, steering columns in perfect shape, the dash is in perfect shape, there's no cracks or anything like that. Everything's good and looks phenomenal. The gauge bezel is all there and very clean. Everything works. All of the gauges work. Some of these first gens have an issue with their fuel sender. Our fuel sender works. Everything like that is all good. Here on the shift knob, you'll, you'll notice that there are not five gears, but six gears because this is an NV5600 swap, which is a huge benefit. It's a double overdrive. This trans is amazing. I will say beforehand, I was kind of under the impression of an NV4500 to five speed was good enough. Like you've got overdrive. What more could you want? It's not really worth the money to go do an NV5600 swap. I was wrong. Six speed is the way to go. Super cool. And then this has a manual two speed transfer case. So we have a twin stick from JB Off-Road Fabrication. Super nice as well. One of the, my gripes about these trucks is there was no cup holders if you didn't have a center console. So we've got, you know, a cheap Bato Zone special with some cup holders on the ground. We're going to go back to upholstery and have some cup holders added in here into the jump seat. So you at least have something a little bit better than that. With you guys know with classics, they're never finished. It's never done. You get to a certain point, you think you're done, but then you, you want to add more. The list never ends. Other cool things in here would include, we've got tachometer and then we've got gauges up here on the pillar. We have trans temp, exhaust temperature and boost pressure, which is all really nice. And then we have airbags. So you have an airbag controller for, for towing in the back and it, that works great. And then we have a really cool DIN and a half Newport radio from Retro Sound, which is really cool because these trucks had a DIN and a half there. Nobody makes a DIN and a half radio, but they do. They fit great with slight modifications. They're really not meant for these trucks, but which is one tiny modification. They fit perfectly. So the, the that's a Bluetooth radio and it's it's phenomenal so it's great ac blows ice cold as good as you can expect for a 90s pickup doesn't blow the hardest air in the world but it does blow nice and cold the truck is very comfortable seat belts are good everything is good in here i've been driving it for the past few weeks every single day and this thing just feels like a time capsule like you just like jump back to 1993 you know you said to lee iacocca back in 1993 that hey you wanted a crew cab special ordered with a cummins and, and he gave you one so really cool truck we really like it but let's show you what you really want to see which is what's under the hood so what we have under the hood here is the money maker, that 12 valve 59 Cummins. This is a VE pump, which there's a debate. And generally speaking, the P pump is the better version. P pumps came in second gen Cummins. But with today's fuel prices, I'm sure you guys are gonna be pretty happy because P pumps get terrible fuel mileage and VE pumps get amazing fuel mileage. Like it blows my mind how good a fuel mileage this gets. You know, normally when you drive a classic, you're dumping more money. This gets better 
fuel mileage than my daily gets because of the VE pump. But the, this engine is brand new rebuilt, does not leak a drop, which you guys might not believe me because Cummins are famous for leaking, but this thing does not leak a single drip. Red valve covers, looks really nice. Red turbo housing as well. 0.84 AR on the turbo housing, so spools up really nice. Truck sounds amazing. Uh, you'll hear it when we go and you'll hear the turbo spool sounds phenomenal. We'll do a little test drive next here so you guys can get some driving impressions. Pretty clean wiring under the engine bay, you know, just kind of looks like a 12 valve Cummins from 1993 under the hood. And it's pretty stinking nice. We've got an intercooler, so keep your EGTs down and then a nice aluminum radiator with a fan shroud and everything, mechanical fan thing never gets hot. Like you guys know diesels never get hot generally speaking, but this thing just has never, ever, ever peaked over like 190 degrees. So stays cool all the time. Uh, even in the Las Vegas heat. As far as engine mods go, KDP 3200 springs on the VE pump. It's running the factory vacuum pump to the vacuum boosted brakes. This thing breaks really good. I love Hydro Boost, but you know, I don't think it needs it. The thing breaks on a dime. Really nice with the brakes there, and that all works excellently. This engine paired with that NV5600 is just an absolute cruiser. Does amazing. So I have no complaints, and I think whoever wins this thing is going to have an absolute daily drivable 93 crew cab basically so really love that everyone loves the look of it and that's that's really what you guys are here for is that beautiful beautiful Cummins let's go start it up so you can hear what she sounds like get that turbo whistle and we'll go take it for a test drive and, and see what you guys think okay we're doing a little road driving give you guys a little driving impression second gear do about 20 miles an hour in second upshift into third okay the trans is amazing but I don't want to sugarcoat it new venture manual transmissions NV 4500s NV 5600s they do have a bit of a, a of a long throw between gears they have a great feeling feels good however the throw is pretty long if you've driven a Z5 manual like a 5 speed Z5 from a from a Ford or a Z6 from a Ford I feel like Z6s have a much shorter throw and are probably a better transmission maybe not better you know it's all subjective but you could measure that that the throw is shorter so I might like a ZF5 or ZF6 a little bit better. However, this transmission is wonderful. The clutch feel is so good, super easy. It's not a leg workout or anything like that. And then there you can hear that coming. Sounds super good. Sounds just insane. I'll open her up here in a second. One of the downsides, I don't want to ever sugarcoat you know, these driving impressions. One of the downsides to it, there's that little turbo spool, baby. That window is. So, so let's talk about some negatives here for a second. I don't ever want to short, sugarcoat anything. Because this truck has vent windows, they whistle. If I put a quarter in there, it'll stop whistling. So that's one of my next mods, is the quarter in the vent window mod. I think another downside to this, this truck rides great and steers really good. It's push-pull steering, not crossover steering. So you kind of get some bump steer as you're driving down the road. It's got steering stabilizers and does just fine. But you know, I'm a big fan of crossover steering. I think it's better for solid axle swap trucks. I think it's better than push-pull steering, but it does fine. But I will say the turning radius is abysmal in these trucks. It really does suck. Really just nothing you can do about it. The knuckles just don't allow you to get any more turning radius out of it than you can. So that's really one of the only downsides to it is that you, you, it is pretty, because it's a boat, it's a crew cab long bed, and it doesn't have a great turning radius to begin with, it really is hard to flip your tools. But besides that, the thing just does excellently. Turbo spool so good, just does, freaking amazing. I think we're gonna do an upgraded wastegate here. And we get a little bit of turbo surge in fifth and sixth gear that I don't love, but you know, it is what it is. The projects are never done, and that's one thing we're gonna add before the giveaway is over, is we'll do an upgraded wastegate or figure out a way to get rid of that. But the turbo spool's just so good, sounds amazing. It's not that loud in here. All Cummins are loud and you kind of have to talk a little loud, but it, it's enough, it's not too loud where you can't hear your radio or anything like that. So, sounds so good. We'll do some more pulls so you can hear it. A little third gear, a little lug in third gear, and listen to that. It's like maybe eight pounds of boost. pounds of boost not a big deal so it does great and this truck passes smog so it's not a smoky pig we you know and it's not like it's some crazy built Cummins because we're giving this truck away it has to be usable you have to be able to smog it and drive it and register it so we're in that weird spot where we don't want to give away a truck that's unusable or that you guys can't pass smog but this truck passes smog it'll be just fine it does great so you can build a register do whatever you need to do um, in California because it's not a 95 passes smog, it's, it's smog exempt, but uh, here in Nevada, it passes smog, it doesn't have to register as a classic either. It's not a smoky pig, it rolls a little bit of coal like a diesel should to be able to spool that turbo, 
but it's not, you're not blowing black smoke at every stoplight. It's not embarrassing. I'm embarrassed when I drive a truck, a decent powered truck, that's just constantly smoking like a pig. I don't like it. But the thing is really a one-handed, two-finger cruiser, plus great on the freeway. Because this truck wasn't automatic, but the crew cab was an automatic, and I actually think the donor diesel was an automatic as well. Because they were automatics, the donor, this truck has like an automatic steering column and had cruise control for the auto, but cruise control no longer works because you're dealing with a different manual transmission that never came with it. So that's one downside is you don't have cruise anymore. But it's a classic truck now, and who cares if you have cruise, because it's a blast. It's, it's awesome. You get to row through six gears, and it's great. First gear is a granny. Um, sometimes they start first, and if you're pulling a trailer, you're going to want to start first. That's to not lug. But the gearing in it is great. The gearing is phenomenal. It does wonderful on the freeway in six gear, right where it should be, right in the power band. So, you know, for driving impressions, that's pretty much it. The thing is, the thing's amazing. You know, I, I really don't have any gripes, and I've loved driving it, and I'm gonna drive this thing every day until we pick a winner, and until that winner comes to get it. You know, that might mean I have another month of enjoying it, but I'm gonna get all the enjoyment out of it as I can. Like I said before, it gets great fuel mileage. It sounds great, it spools up great. It's not a smoky pig, it really is daily drivable. It's not a rocket ship by any way, shape, or form. But you know what? It steers great, brakes great. This truck is very confidence inspiring to where you just trust it. So it's a great truck. We're gonna climb back up the mountain there and finish up. All right, as you've seen, the truck is amazing. Honestly, it is. It is by far the best truck we've ever given away. Definitely one of the most valuable, one of the rarest. I have to say though, it is the most daily drivable. I've been driving it the past few weeks and the thing is just every day, reliables all get out. Like just, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say besides it's just an amazing truck. It's the nicest truck we've ever given away. And uh, I just think somebody is really gonna love it. I, it. This is a hard one to give away because it is such a nice truck and I do love first gens that I would love to keep this one for me, but it's cooler to, to change one of your guys' lives and just see the, see how incredibly happy it makes you guys when you win one of these. With that being said, you know, don't forget to go enter. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. If you don't get entered in to win, you can't take, you, you'll have no chance. I can't do anything for you when that happens. So don't forget to go to hotsandmotors.com if you're seeing this before May 15th. If you're seeing this afterwards, check us out anyway so that you can see what else we're giving away. But we're always striving to make our giveaways better and bigger every single time. But with that being said, I'm just gonna keep cruising this thing. We're up here. We're gonna take some great pictures while we're up here and get some good footage of the truck. This thing, I'm taking it home tonight. I'm gonna keep it till, till we give this thing away. I'm gonna drive it every single day till we give it away. But in the meantime, you know, just keep following us along on social media. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, as we post more and more about it. You'll see greater and better content about it, and hopefully that that hypes you up and gets you pumped about it. But it really is a great truck. I love it. I know one of you guys are going to love it. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and subscribe to us here on YouTube to get more updates about the giveaways. Check us out on Instagram as we post every single day about the giveaways, updates, and stuff like that. And make sure that you tune in when you, ch when you see us pick the winner live. We're going to pick the winner of this truck in real time here on our YouTube live. Make sure you check that out as well when we pick the winner for this truck. So that's all for today's video, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And we'll check you out on the next time. If you want to win this first gen crew cab, you got to go to hotsandmotors.com or every $5 you spend is one entry to win. So go get entered and good luck.